Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo Global, Obaseki puts smiles on the faces of Edo people. The governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, has put a smile on the faces of the health workers in Edo State. The governor said, our health workers are crucial if we are to win the fight against COVID-19. Therefore, we have enormous training, equipment and motivations of frontline health workers. To date, we have trained over 4,200 health workers who are now managing and doing very well screening, testing and in the treatment facilities. Apart from providing the safety and provision provision of protective required equipment, we have offered them life insurance. Wow, very good. That's a very good gesture. And I guess this will motivate them to want to work and to do more. Good one, Obaseke. And special allowance to continue to motivate them. That's a very, whoever gave you that initiative has done very well. Well done, Obaseke. I am glad to inform you that the testing center of the University of Benin Teaching Hospital, UBTH, is now ready. We have begun trial testing under the guidance of Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC. We expect it, we expect it will commence full operation by this week. We have also taken delivery of another CPRC testing machine currently being installed at the Edo Specialist Hospital, which we hope will also be ready within two weeks. This will give us the capacity to perform up to 1,000 tests daily in Edo State. The governor said, we are quite aware that many families and individuals are suffering as a result of partial lockdown. That is why we have started distributing food items to vulnerable families and give medical support even to them more. We are fumigating and providing water in markets, parks, and public space and have reduced taxes on small businesses. Wow! God, you know, Baseki, you've done well. I mean, this is a very good initiative to support the people. I mean, this is good. What, we are, what I'm hearing is good. We don't call what is good bad. We call it good. And I want to say this is good. Let's continue. Godwin Obaseki further said, Our operations involve huge logistic effort and coordination of more than 500 people trained to collect, process, distribute samples, supply palliative. Up to 3,000 men and women from federal and state security agencies are helping us provide security of our health workers, residents, while ensuring compliance and enforcement of our family and safety guidelines. This is indeed a good work from the governor, giving life insurance and special allowance to over 4,000 health workers in the state in order to motivate them. I believe people will not forget this good work in a hurry. Meanwhile, Ahead of the Edo State All Progressive Congress APC governorship primaries, some leaders of the parties have called for the election of an aspirant with a track record of integrity, compassion, empathy for common man to be nominated as the next governor of the state. Four governorship aspirants of which are four former deputy Governor Pius Odubu, General Charles, Engineer Chris Ogonwai, and Pastor Osage Z. Iyamu have come out to declare their interest, and the narrowing down process have also commenced. Well, people of Edo State, well done to you. Your Governor Godwin Obaseki has scored another one. With the news we are hearing, we hope that the, F, the, the immediate effects of this, um, uh, all these that have been declared 
starts so that the people of Edo State can enjoy the full capacity of what the government is talking about. Because um, those that are in the front line doing this deserve not just the best, but they really deserve to be assisted in all these things that have been mentioned, you know. They deserve to be treated very well. They deserve to be, you know, supported and motivated. Others at home locked down, but they still go out to work to make sure that we are all safe. So offering them um, a life insurance, ah, that one a big one and is very good. I want to say well done to the um, to the governor of the state um, for this initiative. It is a good one. Um, it's also said that they have. So the governor of Edo State is making sure that the people who are working in the front line, looking after those who have coronavirus, who are testing and doing all these things, are well looked after. It is a welcome and a very good, um, you know effort from the governor. I want to say well done to Governor Gordon Obaseke. But beyond these things being said by the governor, one other thing we would like is that these things become a reality and the people begin to enjoy them immediately. Because uh, you know, talk they say is cheap, but I want to believe that Governor Gordon Obaseke is not one of those people who we promise and afterwards it will just go through the wings and uh, the people will not enjoy what they've been promised. And after they have slaved, worked their fingers out, they are not um, getting the benefit of what the government has promised them that they will get. You know, these people are risking their life. Take, for instance, see the Speaker of the House, Frank, you heard him. We posted the news this morning and you can see it for yourself how he came back from the United Kingdom and he went to do the test, you know, with all that is going on. And he found that, my dear, he was positive. He said one of the things that started killing him from within was just the thought that he was positive enough. Only that thought alone, it was enough to start killing him from within, you know. So my people, now the matter be that, uh, those states, um, the governor has made ma some mention of some palliative and some things to help the people. Please, my people, um, let's, let's, um, make, let's get the use of these opportunities that the government has put out there so that they can enjoy the full capacity of all that the government has said that they are putting in place. They said they are giving them um, palliatives, then the testing equipment are being, you know, are being, are being placed now so that um, the people can be tested more quickly. One of the things the Speaker of the House said was that being tested, knowing that, knowing his status was one of the things that helped, you know, was very good because immediately you know the earlier you know the better for you as soon as you know your tests you know your um, um immediately you know that um you have it treatment commence immediately that treatment is like a stitch in time it says nine and nipping the ball at in, uh, immediately so that you don't give opportunity for these things to continue as soon as you hear that um you know you start treating it immediately you don't wait for for it to become a full blown or anything like that immediately treatment commence which will also help to save and to help the person. The early treatment, early recognition and treatment is very essential. <coughs> Excuse me. What this thing does is that it attacks the immunity of the person, such as the lungs, the, the liver, uh, you know, uh, essential parts of the body. So as soon as the person knows uh, about this uh, old thing, and treatment commences immediately. The person can survive it. And especially with our own local uh, uh, items that we have, they are very good. Although have not been scientifically proven, but a lot of number of people in Nigeria, you know, that have, that have gone through this whole matter and have come, come on the other side, have said it. They said, you know what? I have gone through this process and I have seen what it is. And local helps was what helped. Did you hear even the gov I'm talking. I'm referring to the Speaker of the House, the person of Frank, because he was one of those who just recovered right in a dose that I'm not talking about a far person. You know, you can hear his experience saying that he got, he, he was treated with local local uh, 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 items local items that was what he was treated with so it is important that we begin to look into look inward and begin to put these things in place so nigerians now the matter where they grant be this Edo state governor don't make the people smile again what do you think anyway by the way the other governorship aspirants are still there um and then the narrowing down has been narrowed down to Two, you know, that people showed show their interest and all that in the governorship election. But what I want to say here this morning is, my people, let's 
look after one another. Coronavirus is still ongoing, but let's look after ourselves. Let's look after the people around us. Let's make sure that they are well, that they are well looked after, you know. Showing a bit of gesture of kindness, we go along with to save a family, to save a neighbor. And let's not forget that God reward anyone who take care of another person. I want to say a big thank you to all of you out there. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.